Reddit user CR0100 wants to use Global Protect to check the value of a specific registry key within the Windows system. Registry keys have a lot of important security data. For example, they can tell you whether or not macros are allowed on that Windows machine. This is also an important part of Zero Trust because you are determining whether or not that Windows machine meets your security requirements, your security posture requirements, and not just trusting that because a user on your network is able to log in, that they are trusted and that more specifically that device is trusted. So you're actually checking the device in addition to checking the user. Setting this up within the Palo Alto firewall can be admittedly a little bit complicated. So this video should help you understand all of the different steps that you need to go through to actually check the value of a registry key within a Windows machine. Let's begin. In order to configure the check of a registry key, you need to use something called a host information profile. Host information profile consists of two parts. One is the actual profile and the other part is the object. Objects can be built into profiles using Booleans. In this case, we're just gonna use very simple. We're just gonna create one object and we're gonna put it into a single profile. We're just gonna keep it very simple. I'm just going to show how to check a specific key value within um, within a Veracrypt that I have. I'm gonna use the product UID within Veracrypt and I'm going to configure that within the host information profile objects and then also create a policy that matches that. The complicated part of configuring this is that in the portal settings, you actually need to change three different things in the portal settings. That's what kind of makes it really complicated. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do all that right now. So let me open up my 440 here. And the first thing that you can see is I have, I'm in the traffic log. Um, right now I haven't done any, any pings, but this is from my machine on the GP internal. So this is from, uh, I'm connected to Global Protect right now. Um, but if I do ping, so if I drag this in here, if I do ping, 8.8.8.8. And then I, I'll drag that out. And then I refresh to let the session end. There, now you can see that ping. So this is hitting the rule GP everywhere. So we're going to have to create, I'm going to create a new rule above it, which identifies any, any devices that have the registry key that, I've, that I'm going to specify, and that'll show you how to identify the existence of that registry key. This will make a little bit more sense if you just keep following. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make that host information profile. Um, as you can see here, you've got the host information, host information profile objects and the host information profile profiles. So, Profile profiles. For those in the military, you might know of something called a CAC card. The C at the end also stands for card, so people always joke about that. This is kind of similar. Start by making the object. In this case, we're gonna keep it very simple. We're just going to do the registry key. So we'll just call this um, Veracrypt product GUID, because that's what the registry key I'm going to do, and we'll go to custom checks. You have to check it here, go to registry key, and I'll pull up my registry key here. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the actual key, but this is standard for Veracrypt. So this is something that um, I, I had to explain to the Reddit user. The key is this here. It's everything right here, starting at H key onward. And then this product GUID is actually um, the value. And then there's the data. So I'll explain what that, I'll show you how that, what that works in a second. So let me just copy this. We'll add here. So you can see there's a registry value. So this is the key. So that part of the key goes here. You can just leave this blank. And then for the value, that would be that product GUID. So I'll type it. 
And then of course, I don't want you all to see that value, but I'll copy the value here. There we go. Okay. And then I will hit okay. All right, this object by itself can't be added to a policy, so you actually need to create a profile. So I'm going to add a profile here, and then we'll call this Veracrypt product GUID, and we'll just add this one. See, it's the same name. Um, we'll just call, let's just call this profile just so that we're not confused. Um, or just say, device with approved or crypt. There we go. Maybe that's more straightforward. And that'll make more sense because this profile will actually uh, be a way that you can identify the device. Let me show you that right now. I'll go to policies and go to my security policies. And you can see here this GP everywhere policy, which does what it sounds like. I'm allowing GP to go everywhere. And I'm going to clone this policy before. And then I'll rename it. Approve, I'll just rename this like reg test. And then under source, I'm going to keep this source zone of the GP internal and the GP internal hosts, but I'm going to change the source device. And here I'm going to add this hip profile. That'll be source device. Another use for this source device is if you have IOT, you can actually add device IDs here within IOT. Um, but I'll do that. That might be a different video <laughs> for now. I'm just going to do this. Hit okay. All right. Now, some of you might think, okay, we've, you know, we're done. We can, now, now it should work, right? Unfortunately, there are some configuration settings that you need to configure in your Global Protect portal as well. So I'm going to do that right now. Let me go here. All right, and the first place is going to be under portal data collection and under these custom checks, you need to specify the registry key. If you remember the key, is, let me pull it back up. The key is this. And the value is that product GUID. Then under agent, you need to configure it in two places. One is under config selection criteria. You need to go to custom checks. You need to check custom checks. And then you need to put the key. So here you have to put the key and the value data. So copy this again. Oh, did I put computer in the other one? I'll double check that in a second. And then here's the yeah, the value was product GUID. and the value data, I don't want you all to see that. But that is the product GUID that I have. All right, hit okay. And the third final place under hip data collection, custom checks, add the registry key. <laughs> I'll just copy and paste it. You're used to what it looks like now, so that's it and it's product GUID. Okay. And let me double check under here. Okay, yep, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, is it correct here? Yep, yeah, yeah, it's correct here. I didn't put the computer, good. Okay. So that's everywhere that you need to configure it in the portal, okay. And now this should work. You may need to reconnect a few times to your portal. Um, and I'll show you how you can monitor that. So commit all 
changes. All right, instead of making you all wait through this commit, I'll do some movie magic and let the commit end. Here we go. All right, the, as you can see here, the configuration is complete. The commit is complete. So let me close this. All right, and if we go to monitor, we can actually look at the hip matches. And we can see, okay, yep, yeah, one has hit just now, device with approved Veracrypt. Those have matched. Um, I'll reconnect just to make sure. You can kind of see a little bit of my Glow Protect popping up here, which is good. Um, yeah, refresh connection. Right now it's 18.07, so that's the time we should see here on our receive time. It does take a second to hit. We can go to the global tech logs here and you can also see a yeah, host info 18.07, hit wake gateway check, perfect. If we go back to the match, doesn't happen right away. Come on. Maybe it's just still using the one it was using before. That's annoying. Well, it did. Yeah, it did say that it's, it sent it 1807, which is good. I was hoping it would say it here, but I think once it uses the same one that it was using before, like once it has the same match, it doesn't give you a new log unless it's a new match. All right, let's make sure that's working properly. So what we can do is go to the traffic logs. <clears throat> you can see that's our ping from before. It was hitting GP everywhere. Now if we ping, let's see if it hits the new policy. Okay. Come on. There we go. And yep, now you can see it's hitting the reg test rule. So that works. And we have effectively, we have um, successfully checked the host for that, um, for that registry key. And that is being used as part of the device ID. So if you're setting this up, Remember a few things, you need to configure a hip object and a hip profile with that object. You can use Boolean logic, so you can use and or not statements to determine which objects you want to include within that profile. Then you need to use that profile as part of a source device in a security policy. And then you need to configure the, um, you need to configure the checks on the portal in three places. So you need to configure it two places within the agent. And then there's also a place for hip uh, custom checks within the portal itself. So just make sure that you see all those three places. You can watch this video again to see where those places are. I hope you found this video helpful and that this helps anyone who is looking to do custom checks of registry keys. I think this is uh, very important and could be very helpful in for some people to improve the security of their environment and to make sure that only users with trusted devices and devices with secure posture are actually connecting into their network. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.